Hello, my name is Phil Miller. I'm Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Thayer Coggin. Welcome to our showroom. This is the October Market 2020, and we're glad to help you, uh, you know, come more familiar with Thayer Coggin and show you our new introductions. We feature here in our front uh, foyer, the new Lex chair. Uh, this is an incredible design by Skip Color. Uh, it's a solid walnut frame, uh, steam bent parts on the back rail and the X bat back. And it marries, you know, as you can see expertly with the other elements of the shapes of that solid walnut frame. That frame is actually made here locally by a very fine uh, specialty frame shop that we have a, a great collaboration with. So we're very fortunate to be able to have that expertise in craftsmanship to be able to execute this chair properly. Um, as you can see, uh, obviously the elements of the design with that X back are the defining uh, design uh, aspects of it. And of course, it, as is always the case with Thayer Coggin, it's extremely comfortable. As I'm sitting in pieces as we go through the showroom, I'm just uh, about five, ten and a half, so you'll get a sense of uh, the scale of, of myself and how I sit in the pieces. But really great lumbar support, shoulder support. You see the curvature of that back you know, just hug you perfectly into the piece. And then you have, of course, the loose cushion option with a poly blend down seat cushion that really gives you that great ride as noted by Thayer Coggin. As we go into area number one, uh, this is a chunky Milo, we call it. This is a 1972 Milo Bachman original. You see the larger scale of the metal uh, pieces uh, noted on the back uh, frame. You'll see how the curb and the taper is always uh, one of those defining elements, again, of Milo Bachman's original design and it also defines the collaboration he had with Thayer Coggin, who applied his engineering expertise to the creation of their, of their iconic designs. Uh, the upholstered arm is extremely comfortable, um, and then the scale of the piece, the, the angle of the, <coughs> of the back and the pitch of the seat, really perfect, and of course it just sits and conforms to you as you sit into the chair. Across from it, you'll see the 951. This is arguably Milo's most uh, recognize an iconic design from 1966. This is kind of the quintessential definition of how he felt the back of the chair was just as important as the front. And he felt like if you could landscape the piece and, and you, from the back side, you would draw yourself around to want to sit into the piece. So this is, uh, you can see again here, these elements of the angle of the back, the pitch of the seat, uh, the thinness of the metal frames that they always were challenging themselves to how thin can they make the frame and it still be structurally sound and properly engineered uh, and poly blend down a seat and blend down cushion on the back is extremely comfortable and even the tailoring underneath this arm pad is welted so that you have just an extremely finished look keep in mind as you're going through the showroom that all of our pieces are true bitch made upholstery one upholster does a complete piece in this case also the same upholster would, would also uh, upholster a pair of chairs or eight dining chairs or a three-piece sectional here you see the shelter sofa. This was from 1971, a, a design that Milo actually created for Thayer Coggin and Dot Coggin for their new home back in that, that 1971 era in High Point, the first, I guess, truly modern design home in, in High Point. And so it was such a hit that they added it to their assortment. It's been out, in and out of our line now for several times over the course of that history. It's back and it, it, it's just a great, uh, a great way. Once again, it's a 42 inch deep uh, frame. Uh, it's actually a two-part piece uh, where you can disassemble it and you have two back cushion options. The single backs as you see them there are five scatter back options uh, or pillow back options and you can also of course use that as a, as a very comfortable day bed if you choose. <clears throat> as we come into area number two, you're going to see our feature group. Uh, this is a reintroduction of Milo Boffman's Freeform. Uh, we, we renamed it Sit Tight for today's marketing purposes. Just incredible profile and shape. Some people would call this a biomorphic shape, you know, an amoeba shape, but just incredible uh, 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 flowing shapes of this. There's not one single straight line on any aspect of the piece. So as you can see, it's a nine and a half inch thick uh, foam, 2.5 density foam with a fiber top on that to give some crowning effect, double needle stitching. You can imagine how precise the cutting and sewing has to be on this piece and then the upholster to properly execute it to mitigate the possibility of wrinkling, give it a nice crisp feel, maintain an acceptable level of comfort and for a tight seat tight back it is, it is extremely comfortable. But then also just to maintain this roll shape on the upholstery, 
because there's not a wood frame that the upholster can actually pull to to pull out what would typically be the you know the wrinkling or the slight puckering that you may find there so the execution of this piece is just phenomenal um, here you see it in a three-piece configuration we call this shape the peanut shape just to have some fun with it and of course you've got the curved corner piece and there's another peanut on this side so this is a symmetrical configuration as you see here and of course of course fully upholstered gives it more of an understated look now across from it you see the polished stainless steel version just a stunning you know architecture and that base just of course floats it off the floor uh, you see it here in a velvet um, the, it, it, it's, a, it's the most exquisite look I guess you can find you know in this particular uh, textile and these, this is an example of the biomorphic so where you see the peanut on the left side you'll see the what we call the hook shape on the right side as it hooks back around to the piece and then it has a convex shape here and then of course concave here back with the corner piece so this flowing asymmetrical look is is, is, what, is what is probably most uh, defined by in the market. If you go to the vintage market, you'll see these pieces selling. Uh, the cheapest price I think we've seen so far is 24,000. They go up to 36,000. Just incredible pieces. Um, we're really excited about the reintroduction of this and have had a phenomenal response to it at this market. I want to show you the metal base, which you don't normally get a chance to see the superstructure of what's underneath that metal base. Here you see, of course, it's all polished stainless steel. All of our metal parts start off as polished stainless steel. And if we do a plated finish, that is again on top of that polished stainless steel. And you'll just see the engineering, the welding, the execution of how, you know, this piece is not only extremely well designed and engineered, but as structurally, structurally sound as you could possibly make it. And then across the way, you're going to see the bronze version, the brush bronze base with this beautiful uh, new textile uh, cream colored boucle. It really just elevates, it takes it into an extremely sophisticated uh, look in that regard. We pair it with the Kai chair from Stanley J. Friedman. This was an introduction from last October. Um, it's got a phenomenal response. It's just quintessential classic uh, modern design. Stanley, of course, is one of the most respected uh, designers of modern, the modern aesthetic in both the contract and the residential market. So it's such an honor to collaborate with him on this particular chair. You'll see here the dark bronze, brushed bronze tips, the exquisite shapes. Um, and then the tailoring, the double needle stitching, you'll just see how precise that all has to be cut and sewn and properly fitted to that piece to create amazing comfort, but then just uh, an incredibly uh, architectural statement, uh, but just a really defining uh, chair that pairs perfectly with sit tight. Uh, you're gonna see here the polished stainless steel version with the black uh, satin uh, tips, and this is in a new fabric by Radiant, which is a beautiful chenille uh, velvet from Turkey. And then the little spin ottoman was debuted last market. It was intended to go as, you know, basically a standalone ottoman. It can be a little seat as well. It sits on a, a swivel, so it makes it a lot of fun. Uh, it can also pair with uh, various swivels, especially the Roxy and the Papa Roxy that you're going to see here later <coughs> in the showroom. Here you see the Phil and Groovy chair. This is a 1967 model of Offen. Um, we just, honestly, when we first came back to this piece several years ago, we just kind of did it for fun and it's turned out to be a huge seller. It's, you know, it's one of those, uh, you know, large profile, kind of a little bit of an ostentatious look, if you will, but just a lot of fun and a great swivel piece uh, to really make a statement in your living environment. Now, one of the key uh, things that we've done this market is to introduce a new set of finishes and these are actually dye finishes. So if you can kind of equate it in one respect to maybe a tie-dye type of a look, but we were able to discover these through a, you know, investigation with our finishing company here, Axo Novell, and they happen to be the supplier of the dye finishes for Gibson guitars. So they shared with us, you know, some of these colorations that they had created, uh, their standard colors. We just applied them to our particular veneers. And as you can see, just a magnificent uh, spectrum that you get out of that quartered figured maple some people call it a tiger stripe or a figure but you know the, the stain actually just bites into the uh graining itself to pop those natural elements of the beauty of mother nature so this is what we call blue electric there are actually six other other colors and as you'll go across the showroom here you'll see how we had a lot of fun and just mixing up some of those colors and you know we thought well why not we'll offer the ability for the client to actually choose uh 
you just number the doors and tell us which colors they may want to do it. You can, of course, do all one color, or you can mix it two colors or four colors or whatever you know your pleasure uh, would like. Here you see the raspberry rain. Uh, this is the lemon zest, the grasshopper green, and then the orange crush. So just really beautiful uh, elements of color. You know, sophisticated but fun. And uh, we did it, of course, with our standard white case on the Swanky Buffet with the acrylic side panels. You'll see some other examples of those finishes as we go throughout the showroom on some other selected pieces. Here we go into the area number uh, five, four, which we have the uh, nine, uh, I'm sorry, the 1278 laid back chair. This is a 1959 original. This was what some clients may refer to as the kind of the quintessential mid-century modern look that had somewhat of the Danish modern influence with it, but just really great high back chair. You see the slope, subtle sloping arm and tapers and just everything about this chair is extremely comfortable. This is in a solid walnut frame and you see it here uh, featured with the gray on walnut finish and you'll notice how the translucent finishes that we use, you know, give you the characteristics of the grain that we always want to accentuate. Here we have the spaced out uh, sofa. Uh, this is a new studio size sofa that's 73 inches. Of course, spaced out comes in a variety of other you know, uh, sofas and uh, various configurations for the piece and a 90 inch sofa standard as well. But with the uh, ever uh, challenging uh, shrinking living spaces that we're all contending with, we thought it'd be a good idea to introduce some smaller scale pieces on a standard basis that you could use to fit into some of those reduced living spaces. <clears throat> Here you see a chair we call Real Good 2. This was designed from 1973 originally we called Teardrop where it had a channel in the back. Uh, we decided to clean it up and take that off and uh, actually we, did, we decided to pair it with some of our bases that we use on some other chairs, you know, particularly the Roxy that you'll see here in a few minutes. But you know, it's, and it's a swivel only chair, but just like it's exquisitely beautiful profile, this conical shape on the back and the taper that comes top to bottom, really great shoulder support and just a really nice flowing, just perfectly scaled uh, piece that can go in any sort of living environment. Um, just so fun to go back and think about Milo's design vision over all those, you know, his 50 year career. This is a 1965 original, uh, it's called, we call it the Draper chair. Um, of course, as you know, the uh, Mad Men series kind of put mid-century modern back in back on the map if you will we were already seeing it you know go go in that direction anyway but here you see this beautiful solid walnut frame this is actually made by a, a collaboration with a company we have up in upstate new york fancier manufacturing they make exquisite uh solid uh, walnut frames in particular they do all herman miller and Knowles uh, solid frame work in that regard but this is a beautiful profile uh really nice scale uh, just different elements of this piece just makes it a very special uh, piece of uh, it's a piece of art here we go into area number five with the hangover sectional this is kind of our approach to a more of a european influence with the thicker cushion and the wide track arm uh, this is again a nine and a half inch thick uh, cushion 2.5 density just gives you a really great ride and the interesting thing about 2.5 density foam on a thick on a cushion of this thickness when you get out you get kind of a trampoline bounce back effect and so it gets a full recovery you know, from the cushion when you sit in it. The high wire chair was, was debuted um, five markets ago, getting great traction now. It's just a really beautiful profile, the three quarter inch tubular metal frame. Here you see it in the dark bronze finish. Uh, this is a, a design again by Ransom or Skip Color, we, we finally call it. And you'll see here the architecture of the piece, how we open it in the back. And, you know, again, whether it's a Milo Boffman or Skip, you know, he, we're trying to all create the maximum comfort and interest on the element of the design. So we put the slight curve in the back metal piece, and that gives you that hugging effect, but also that very interesting element of design. And then you'll see, of course, you can see through the, the uh, backside here to give you just that additional interest uh, of, of design. Double needle stitching. This is a new buck leather. This is this is this is Mother Nature at her finest. It is an unprotected leather though, so it will you know it will patina over the course of time. The little soft drive ottomans are always continue to be top sellers, so we always show a pair of those in a fun fabric. <clears throat> a Mercury chair, 1980. Mile of a swivel rocking chair. Um, you'll see it in this satin brass finish. It's also available in dark bronze and polished stainless steel. Keep in mind as we're talking about any frame or leg or other components in polished stainless steel, you have the option to also 
finish that with black, white, or gray powder coat. The No Right Angles was a new design uh, that we actually debuted. First started off with April Market, came May, and then finally June when we had our version of a virtual market. But this is a really beautiful profile, uh, sweeping, subtle curves. Uh, you see the curve of the back, and again, it's like paper, top stitching, uh, uh, sewing technique, rolled edge right there on the, on the end of the cushion. And then, of course, you get the convergence of the subtle V-shape that comes into the center. Really sophisticated, understated. Um, that classic modern design that could go in any decor. Here you see a Tate Tay that we have gotten really great response on. It's 102 inches. Tate Tays can be a little bit tricky just because of how they can be a little bit too boxy sometimes with the beautiful flow of this. It's just great for a master bedroom or another sitting area. As we jokingly said, this is our answer to the social distancing world that we live in. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then you'll see another three uh, piece uh, uh, version of no right angles with a single back cushion. Here you see the scattered back cushion option, which is uh, the 1451. The 1450 is the single back cushion with the uh, uh, side cushion that you get standard. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a fan too, was a design from uh, June as well. Beautiful profile, inside curve, just beautiful sculpturing on the piece and inside welt that actually gives us this very crisp upholstery, uh, the very nice width to the chair and then the hug of the seat on your shoulders and just gives you that ultimate in comfort and lumbar support, but just a really sophisticated armless chair that can go in any decor. And then there's another semi-attached version we call I'm a Fan, and as you see it's in this beautiful black uh, velvet. Here you see it with the polished stainless steel, the I'm a Fan too, of course, had the black uh, powder coat finish standard. <clears throat> the uh, Giant Toe Chair, 956, this was 1965. This was Milo's I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Coggin, his favorite chair, he called it the big hug chair. We could get his kids all in there with him together. Really seen a huge resurgence. This was the original chair and a half that many people have emulated over the course of their, their careers. Here we have the uh, other version of the Lex chair, the maple frame version and an ebony finish. So interesting just how it takes on a totally different personality. And you see the ebony paired with that beautiful black and white chevron uh, fabric. It's just very stunning and sophisticated. This is the ride chair, 1968. You see it again, that three-quarter tubular frame. You saw that, of course, just a few uh, sections back with the uh, high wire chair. So interesting how the three-quarter tube is, you know, was so relevant in the mid-60s and is now back again today. Here you see it paired with the slice uh, sectional. Uh, this is actually two, a left and a right arm sofa put together to make a 120-inch sofa. You see the post leg thin, brings it off the floor, helps the space become you know, visually more, you know, peer to larger than it actually is. And you see it here featured in the, in the gray powder coat finish. The oval ottoman is extremely popular. And of course you see it paired with that beautiful oval wood tray in that blue electric again, just phenomenal what that blue dye finish does to even that subtle, you know, just simple uh, wood tray. Here's another version of the hangover, uh, a smaller footprint in polished stainless steel with a left arm uh, facing sofa and a right arm uh, shades. And then you hear the on three chair, 1970, one of Milo's most noted designs. This is, this is kind of that Harley Davidson look, you know, with a polished stainless steel and that, you know, incredible bomber jacket, black, unprotected, uh, just incredibly soft leather. And it will patina, it will take on all your characteristics. Here you'll see an oval, I mean, I'm sorry, the round ottoman of the same group as you saw over across the way. And this is the decked out leg where you can put the leg on the outside of the piece to give it a little bit more interest. And here you see the orange crush um, stain on that particular wood tray. The dining chair is 1188, uh, Tootsie, Tootsie we call it. 1968, Milo's personal favorite chair, great little dining chair. You can actually use it as a small desk chair or a vanity chair, just but, but it's intended to be primarily, of course, a dining chair. Uh, and then you see the 1187 with the arm and armless, and here are just examples of the finish options with bronze, uh, black powder coat, and polished stainless steel. The suspender chair, this was, this was uh, debuted about three years ago. You really get great response to it. Just a beautiful architecture of this piece, as you can see, the full chair is totally suspended off of this metal frame. So there by the name, of course, uh, engineering, comfort, scale, 
just full, you know, full size as far as, you know, for a larger living environment, just a beautiful profile. You see here at Polished Stainless Steel, it's also offered in a liquid bronze finish as well as a maple finish with our 17 finish option. And then we find uh, here with Clip, this is Clip is our still our number one selling uh, group. Here you see it the way we typically sell it with, uh, you know, this is a smaller footprint with the left arm and a right chaise or a right arm and a left chaise, but then you can also do a left or right arm sofa and a larger footprint or even a three piece configuration. You can make it as, this is the smallest version. You can make it as large as you like. The Ottomans, uh, along with the polystainless steel trays, you can see it <coughs> here in polystainless. Of course, it also is available in bronze and a wood tray with 17 options. The back of the piece, as we just uh, went by, was showing you all the different clip options that you have on the back, either in polystainless steel, bronze, acrylic, or the wood finishes. And then this is the other version of the high wire chair in the polystainless steel in our, actually it's our quick ship uh, groundworks black leather. The 1107, this was the shelter chair that was actually put in made or designed to pair with the shelter sofa originally. Just a really nice profile, tall arm, extremely comfortable. This is a swivel chair, you know, squared back. So it's the many things we do have with a, with a rounded, you know, profile, but this is, you know, just a square piece. Got a great restrict surgeons to, to this. It's on a swivel, of course, and also a lounge chair. The Zach chair, um, been in our line now for about 12 years. It's on a memory swivel. We have a couple pieces on a memory swivel. Some clients like the piece to be able to come back right to its original setting, but really crisp upholstery, top stitch. You here you see the brush stainless version. There's also a bronze version <coughs> as well. And then the Twiggy chair, uh, just a great go-to chair, really sophisticated, classic modern design. You see it here in a black powder coat with a Krypton fabric. So it's typically uh, available in probably stainless steel, bronze, or satin brass. But that black powder coat is becoming more so relevant today. It really kind of takes it into a little bit more of a, a casual effect, if you will. And then we have straight up here that you'll see. This was a larger profile that we debuted um, last October. And this is our 42-inch um, depth, six-inch wide arm. It's a sock on upholstery top stitch, really sophisticated, double back cushion because of the depth, 108 inch wide sofa. Um, we, you know, we found ourselves making so many custom size larger scopes that we decided to put this one in the line so we could address that particular need. Uh, you're gonna see here across the way, this is the modular version of straight up and then you're gonna see a curved version later on. So there's just a lot of options that you have with straight up series. <clears throat> the Roxy, Roxy's 1965 originals. Here, still our number one selling chair, swivel rock chair. You know, smaller profile, but amazing how it fits so many different sizes of individuals. Just a go-to chair. You can put a pair of these anywhere in any environment with any other style of furniture, but just a really fun chair. And then you see here another example of the spin ottoman that we have. And um, we put this, showed you how you could put a tray on it. You could actually make it into a little ottoman if you would like to pair with maybe one of our drum tables, but then also have it, of course, as we saw earlier, with that little separate piece for entertaining where someone might find themselves have a little fun on that spin ottoman and have another seat option. The Good Egg, um, 1967. One of our most iconic designs. It's normally available in a fully upholstered base. Here in this market, we're showing it with the brush bronze. It also comes in a brush stainless finish. And you see with this elevated chenille fabric and of course that ultimate in the Himalayan lamb's wool Takes it up, it, it, it's typically more casual, kind of in a whimsical feel, if you will, for the good egg. But this actually takes it into a very sophisticated, high level, you know, look. So just interesting how you can go up or down with it. Here we have Decked Out. Decked Out was uh, originally, it came about from what we call Parker, which was the wood leg option. Decked Out is the po uh, polished stainless steel or the satin brass leg option. It's a true half oval, 90 inches bench seat. You know, beautiful curve, subtle curve in a commensurate taper with it. You sell this in pairs often. You'll see it here, of course, with the other version of the oval ottoman and the oval tray. <clears throat> and then the decked out chair in this new incredible uh, textile for a radiant, which is a cut velvet that comes from Turkey. Just exquisite textiles, and it's a really great scale of this piece. Um, just <clears throat> and, and as you see again, in this satin brass finish. The reed chair was a Milo Boston 1972. Very specific chair, as you can see. Solid ash frames, 
24 pieces that make up that piece, and then it's paired with the caning, and we put our overall storm finish on that particular piece. It has this really nice uh, ottoman that pairs with it. It's on caster, so you can nest it up however you would like. <clears throat> the drop-in chair, 1968. Uh, one of my personal favorites, just a beautiful architecture. You see it here. Typically, it's polished stainless steel or bronze. You see here in the black powder coat, with this beautiful uh, leather from Moore and Giles called Mont Blanc. The Easy Rider, also 1968. Um, really interesting, low, uh, lower profile, uh, armless chair, beautiful tufting, double needle stitching, uh, perfect angle on the back in the seat. And just, you know, again, the nice width on the arm where you have a place to kind of rest yourself and get yourself comfortable, you know, so that it doesn't fatigue you. <clears throat> Here you see the Manolo sectional in a polished stainless steel. This is a new textile by uh, Sombrella. So again, the whole performance fabric category continues just to elevate and to get more sophisticated in the hands, the looks, every, all the styling. And of course, we all want to live in our furniture and be able to, you know, have our family and our and our pets and we want to be able to entertain and not worry about having to you know ruin a, a fine fabric <clears throat> turn been in our line now for about eight years to go to tub chair beautiful profile uh welting as you can see kind of converges to the top with a little bit taller back uh, as opposed to the roxy chair this is a swivel only so a different little scale just a you know it's just a different uh option for a swivel chair uh, the lumbar support uh, back pillow is nice. Uh, for someone who prefers that, you can actually take it away and have a cleaner look if you'd like to sit in the piece a little deeper. This is the Manolo uh, bronze, brush bronze uh, sofa. As you can see, three over three. It's also offered the two over two. This is the Nards textile from Turkey. Very elevated, you know, plush chenille uh, textile. Incredible hand on that piece. Ice Roger, Ice Roger. Uh, is, is one of the versions of Roger. We call it Roger with, with uh, maple wood and 17 finish options. This is the acrylic, true acrylic. This is the highest grade acrylic that you can buy. And as you can see, you look through it, it's like looking through a piece of the finest glass made. A really special piece. This is also another textile by Radiant. Um, really fine and up and coming relationship we have with those people. And they have these very exquisite kind of boutique mills that create these uh, up, up level uh, chenilles. <clears throat> then we see <clears throat> the sling chair, one of Milo's no mo most noted designs, still always in our top five. Just an incredible piece of architecture. Uh, this chair, you know, has been emulated. Sometimes you could even call it knocked off by some of our, you know, good friends in the business, but these are the original designs and that's what, these are what, this is the, the uh, caliber and craftsmanship of, of what our clients expect and, and prefer. Um, just, but just amazing architecture, double needle stitching, uh, great profile. <clears throat> the Roger in the polished stainless steel. See, so yeah, it just takes on a different personality as you go from acrylic to polished stainless steel. It's in bronze, and then if you go to the wood version, a more understated look with that particular, and it's also the beginning price point in wood. The LA collection uh, is our number two most popular seller behind the clip. You see that platform base with the storm finish gives you the characteristics of that beautiful tiger stripe that's in the natural maple. Uh, here you see a right and left arm facing sofa with a corner piece, 38 inch square. I know it's somewhat of an optical illusion, but this, this ottoman, it's also 38 inches, but actually fit into that corner. So if you wanted to create a configuration to open your room up, you could certainly fit that right in there. And then you see the raspberry rain color of that beautiful uh, dye finish on the wood trays. On three, uh, 1970, you saw a polished stainless steel version earlier. This is the walnut uh, plywood frame that has uh, featured in our gray on walnut finish and a beautiful textile from Crab. LA sofa, you can see how again the sectional has a more casual look. The sofa has a more elevated, sophisticated look with this beautiful, you know, light uh, cream color of chenille and with the black walnut finish really elevates it into a very, again, a very sophisticated effect. Stockton, one of my personal favorites, just a great swivel chair, um, full scale, high arm, extremely comfortable. We see the convergence of the front to the back, welting, just trimmed out, double needle stitch on the side of the arm, so you mix some of those sewing techniques to give it interest, but extremely comfortable. Sell these types of chairs and pairs all the time.
Here you see straight up, this is the curved sectional um, in the different configurations. So as you saw earlier, you saw the straight uh, sofa. You, then you saw the modular uh, configuration in the straight where you can create any sort of footprint you'd like. And then of course here with the different elements of this curved sectional. So straight up is, gives you that larger scale piece that you need for a larger living space. And then you've got all the different options as to how you might want to configure it. Papa Roxy, this is the larger version of Roxy. Um, as much as people love Roxy, the comments occasionally, gosh, I love it, I just wish it was a little bit larger. So we created a chair that was three inches wider and two inches deeper, and thereby we uh, came up with Papa Roxy so that we could address those. And it gives you a little bit more space and different scale. You can pair it with a larger scale piece like straight up. Uh, and then with the swivel rocking mechanism, because the fulcrum point and the depth two inches deeper, you don't have quite the same range of tilt, a little bit more subtle, some people prefer that. Uh, but again, we're doing extremely well with this. And this is where you also saw that spin ottoman that was actually created to pair so well with that. And this is a new textile by American Silk. This is a cut velvet from India, uh, just beautiful textile. <clears throat> we step into, uh, <clears throat> sorry, area 28. And you'll see the uh, walnut frame again on the left chair. This is the gray on walnut finish. And that's paired with a beautiful gray, mid-gray leather that we call No Regrets. It's, it's what we would call a performance leather. Has uh, you know, a lot of uh, protection. Uh, and as a result of that, we actually come back and uh, the, the tannery comes back and puts a subtle uh, re-embossing of some of the natural characteristics of the leather. Blade. Blade you see here, three over three sofa, 96 inches. It's on that thin uh, dark bronze blade with the blade also comes in polished stainless steel as well as a walnut uh, version, which is in the three finishes, uh, 96 inches. You can see how that full frame is suspended off of those two thin blades in order to accomplish that. Even though we have this frame is solid maple, five quarter double down construction, reinforced with wood corner blocks and glued and dowel, it's got a plate of steel that goes across the front of the frame and on the back side of the wood frame is an angle liner steel. So you're actually reinforcing that full uh, uh, wood frame sandwich with, with steel components so that you can suspend that 96 inch sofa off those thin little blades. And then you see here the acrylic blade, really fun. You see how it almost gives you that floating appearance. And this is the larger footprint of what you can create with blades. It's a 35 inch depth frame. Uh, so it, it pairs well with some of the, you know, still full scale, but fits great with some of the more condensed living spaces. And we paired it, of course, with the ice blade. We paired it with the iconic uh, Bond chair from 1969, the steam bent acrylic chair that, you know, is just incredible design and amazingly comfortable. Um, and we, we do extremely well again with this piece. The little Joe chair was uh, just a slipper chair, armless. Um, nice little reading chair, can go anywhere you want it to go on that memory swivel to bring it back to its original position. You see it here with the brush stainless uh, base option, you also have it in the, the brush bronze. We're going to finish up in the front window with a selection of Milo Hoffman's uh, original and most iconic designs. Also part of our quick ship program, you see here the cruising chair, 1965, this black on black look with the black powder coat and black leather is really current, very sleek, just really cool. Um, this chair, of course, is one of the all time uh, iconic designs of Milo. Uh, we reissued this and are doing extremely well with it. So it's kind of that ultimate lounge chair. Here you see the pit sectional, 1972, 32 inch deep. A footprint with a corner armless and an ottoman. Uh, we don't have the ottoman on display in this market, but you can create any sort of configuration as you can imagine. And the piece is denoted by its incredible uh, unique design of the cushion. The cushion actually gives you the angle that you need it's, it's in order to create it into a 32 inch footprint, which is extremely comfortable and just a great scale for a smaller living space or, uh, you know, different. Uh, basement area or whatever you might want to uh, create in that regard. Here you see the 989, arguably, well, again, one of Miles' most noted designs in 1968. Uh, it's our second most popular seller behind the Roxy chair from 1965. So just amazing how much 
uh, interest there continues to be. Here we show it in a white powder coat, just to have some fun. We kind of jokingly call this our Palm Springs look. Uh, it's also available, of course, in black and, and gray powder coat, but standard, we typically sell it in polished stainless steel, bronze, or satin brass. Uh, but just great profile um, and double needle stitching. This is a uh, another one of those performance fabrics by, I'm sorry, leathers by Montblanc. So you really get an interest in how that natural leather comes about. And then you see the 855, 1964. Uh, this is again part of our quick ship program, the 989. Uh, 855, the pit group, and 951 you saw earlier in the showroom. This is with the white powder coat uh, leg, so it really just takes on that fresh, clean, new look, um, and just paired so perfectly well for a scale of this size. So we like we wanted to feature these pieces here to show you what how you can configure, you know, and again a relatively small footprint of living space, the 855 and the 989. And then finally the bedding chair in 1968. Uh, that little tub chair is, is, is uh, commensurate with the shape of the uh, Roxy swivel, and you see it here on a solid walnut frame in the uh, gray and walnut finish. And then finally, this is that fireball of color of the dive finishes that we've gotten so much great interest uh, as we debuted it for this market. So I just want to thank you for joining us today at Thayer Coggin. We really appreciate your business and your interest. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Please feel free to contact us at any time or your sales, local sales representative. And uh, thank you again and be safe and well and uh, take care. And we hope to see you in uh, at the April, April market. Thank you very much.